Hi, I'm Jonathan Ayling and I'm the co-principal cellist of the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra. What inspired you to become involved in music in the first place? I guess, first of all, it would be my parents. Um, I was very lucky. My mum uh, was, is a musician. She was uh, involved in music education all of her working life. My dad wasn't a player, but a great lover, uh, particularly of classical music and particularly of the cello. So I guess first off, it would be them that, uh, that really inspired me. What does it mean being part of the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra and, and what journey did you take to get to where you are? It's, first and foremost, it's uh, a great pleasure and honour to be part of, of, of the Royal Philharmonic. Um, to, to be able to work and play with a world-class international orchestra such as this is, is everything you could, you could ask for really as a, as a performing musician. Uh, my route has been, I suppose, fairly traditional in, in terms of uh, my training, my studying, my professional life. I, I used to be in a, in a quartet for a few years and then uh, I was actually a member of another London orchestra um, for, for a while and then uh, I came over here to the, to the Royal Philharmonic and uh, that's, been, that's been my sort of my route here. I've always had a very soft spot for the, for the RPO. Um, one of my teachers, and in fact my, my cello teachers, and, and my sort of mentor uh, since I was about the age of eight or nine, David Strange, used to be the, the principal cello here. Um, and I certainly came and heard him play when I was growing up. And so there's, a, there's obviously a real sense of, of, of pride to be part of an orchestra like this, but for me there's also a real personal satisfaction to be sitting in the same seat that, uh, that my, uh, my old mentor used to, used to sit in. So Jonathan, in your spare time, what yeah. music would you listen to outside from the classical arena? <sighs> I, knew, I knew you'd ask me this. I have to say, a lot of the repertoire, or a lot of the music that I choose to listen to at home, I'm afraid is still from the classical world. Um, there's so much of it that you're never going to get bored of it. I used to, I used to listen to a lot of uh, rock and heavy metal music when I was a teenager. I, I, I used to be in a band which was absolutely awful, but we thought we were good. Um, I have an eight-year-old daughter. She's desperately trying to claw me into somewhere near the 21st century. So um, I have been known to sit down with her and listen to some Taylor Swift and uh, Britney Spears and. Uh, Shakira, these are things, you know, I'm very happy to watch their videos anyway, so. Um, are there any particular instruments there which you sort of have envy, any other instruments you feel, oh, do you know what, I wished I played that, they have it slightly easier or slightly differently than what, uh, what you have? I have to admit, it may sound a little boring, I do love the cello, I've always loved the cello. I, it's, it's obviously the best instrument. Um, so I'm very happy playing the cello. But I do sit and listen and watch some of the, the uh, kit players we have come in here and think, I think that would be fun. So, um, so perhaps if I, if I had a, I'm not sure if I had my time again, I would go down that route. But if, if, I, could, uh, if I could get them both going at the same time, it might be nice to be a late night drummer once or twice. <laughs>